Today, the Blessed Virgin Mary on Saturday chose the title of Our Lady Help of Christians because it's uh, Independence Day, July 4th, and we want Our Lady to be present to our nation, our country, to inspire and guide our country to make good laws. As we know, we had bad law made last Friday, uh, two Fridays ago, same-sex marriage uh, imposed on our all our states, and so we're saddened by that by that uh, sort of an abomination to our country. We're sad, and there, and there is a time to be sad, a time to be joyful, a time to be happy, a time to be sorrowful, and this is a time to be a little uh, sad about that part of our nation, although we're happy to be here in this country, which is originally founded on God, founded on God, a Christian, Judeo-Christian country, we could say, and our Christian values still do inebriate uh, many people in our country. We have many good holy people in this country, many people who are going to pray for, suffer for, work to to um, make our, our country as good as it can be in the light of the secularism that's taking over and the liberalism and uh, anti-Christian anti sentiments uh, which are t tend to be growing and uh, perhaps persecution which we can see which we can see signs of um, bishops recently talking about um, how uh, tax uh, tax exempt status may be taken away from the church because of this new law um, in Christian institutions may lose their tax exempt status which will be a, a somewhat of a persecution and as other other um, people have said you know pers persecution and uh, happens in stages and incre incremental and so we're go we're in the, perhaps the beginning, beginning stages which could end in in a kind of martyrdom later on maybe in our lifetime maybe in the next generation but uh, we are called to uh, follow our Christian faith today and now live our faith as strongly as we can and do all we can for our, our country and for those who uh, come after us. We are to try to pave the way for uh, a holy country, a holy family, um, and what we can do now not to lay down like a, like a, like a, a dead dog uh, and let things happen to us and let people let, let uh, uh, evil walk all over us but we need to fight put up a fight and pray and suffer and sacrifice for our country today and for our children tomorrow and uh, of course we entrust all this to our lady our lady is the the instrument and the means that god is using to bless nations and to help nations to live good and holy christian values so um, Our Lady Helpful Christians, we ask her to strongly take hold of our country, um, maybe not in the, again in the macro level, but in the micro level, in the hearts of men and women, to, to touch our hearts, help us to seek to be good and to live uh, Christian values, to live, uh, to live according to the laws of God. Mm. We celebrate Independence Day. We want, don't want to be independent from God, want to be independent from oppression, especially from evil oppression, from oppression of Satan and evil, uh, evil influences. We, but we want to be subject, we want to, obedient, to be obedient to God, subject to His laws. And this will bring us true freedom, freedom of the children of God. We want to be subject and servants uh, in, in, this, in this life so that we can reign as true children of freedom freedom in the next life, but also a kind of freedom in this world, serving God, serving God in goodness and love and happiness and holiness, uh, obeying God. Thank you.